With these problems, we had to sketch the function and its inverse in the same coordinate plane. State the domain and range of each and determine if the inverse is a function and then label this on your graph. So with these, you could have used a calculator uh, if you wanted to. Um, and that is what we'll go ahead and do. Okay, if you want to graph this function, I have y equals 3x minus 4. And there's the graph. And I can look at my table. Okay, and I can just graph these. It doesn't really matter which ones I pick. Uh, I'll just pick some of these tables, some of these points. So I have negative 1, 7... Okay, so there are my three points. Uh, since it's a line, that's enough. And just use a ruler to graph through here. Okay, and then we say, well, this is f of x. Okay, now, this was my table, okay, to graph the inverse. That's my table. And I'm just going to write down those points that I picked. I had negative uh, 1, negative 7. So this was x and this was y. I had negative 1, negative 7, 0, negative 4, 1, and negative 1. Okay, and remember, to find the inverse, so f negative 1 of x. What we're going to do is we're going to switch the x and the y's. So here, I had negative 7, negative 1. Now it becomes, or I'm sorry, negative 1, negative 7. Now I have negative 7, negative 1. 0, 4 becomes negative 4, 0. And 1, negative 1 becomes negative 1, 1. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. There's negative 7, negative 1. I'm sorry, should be right there. Negative 4, 0, goes right there. And negative 1, 1, goes right in that spot. And then, you use your ruler. And you draw straight through. And... Make sure you put arrows and make sure you say this is f negative 1 of x. So that's my final answer. Make sure it's labeled. Uh, for the domain of f of x, it's a line. Okay, Any linear function will always have the domain for all real numbers. It's a range, the range. Negative infinity to positive infinity. So the same thing. Now the inverse, you can look at the graph and you can do the same thing. Or you can say the domain of the inverse, or the domain of the function, switches and becomes the range, and the range of the function switches and becomes the domain. Is the function, is the inverse a function? Well, you look at the horizontal line test. So as I draw a horizontal line, okay, how many times do I touch the inverse? Well, just one time. This graph doesn't count when we're doing the horizontal line, or I'm sorry, horizontal line test. I touch the function one time, so is the inverse a function? Yes. Okay. Horizontal line test. How many times do you touch the function? One time. It's a function. For this question, okay, x squared minus 1, you need to graph it, okay, and you would do the same thing. So go ahead and take a second to work this problem out. Make sure you make your table for f of x and your table for the inverse, okay, and then you switch them, and that would be your graph. So take a second when you're ready, watch the next video.